Oh my god, two minute videos with only six gigabytes of VRAM. This is just insane. Hello humans, my name is KU AI Overload, I'm back and boy oh boy do I have some mind blowing stuff for you today. Because only a few days ago we got a bunch of amazing new AI releases that blew the mind of the entire AI community. And one of them was Framepack, an amazing image to video web UI that can generate up to two minutes of videos from a single image using only six gigabytes of VRAM. With incredible details that you can run locally uncensored on your computer right now. And today, I'm gonna show you how. So that being said, sit back, relax, and let's go. And to install Frampack, you have two ways. The first is of course by using the OneClick installer that is available for my Patreon supporters. Just download the file onto your computer in a new folder, double click it, and then here it will give you a message saying that you should first install the CUDA Toolkit 12.6. It is very easy to install, you have the link for it right here. If you have any issues, you can send me a DM on Patreon if you really need to. But once this is done, you can just press any key and it will start the installation automatically. And it will not only download and install Frampack, but Triton and Sage Attention 2 as well. And once everything is installed, you can just go inside the folder, then run the update.bat file to update it to the latest version, and then you can run the run.bat file to start Frampack. And after downloading all the models, you should now here see Sage Attention is installed message, meaning that the installation was done correctly. And then once this is done, the web UI will open automatically in your browser, ready to be used. Simple as that. You really don't need to do anything. And the second way to install this is of course the manual way. Now I will go fairly quickly because I've already written all the instructions in a paste bin that you'll find in the description down below. And basically you're gonna go to the webpack github and download the archive that you're gonna then extract. Then once you have extracted the archive, you need to determine what is your CUDA version. So you're gonna open a command prompt window and type nv cc dash dash version then press enter which should give you your CUDA version now in my case I have the 12.8 which is fine as well but most of you should have the 12.6 installed so once you know your CUDA version you need to go on this page to install Sage Attention you're gonna scroll down until you see here a bunch of different files. In here, you basically need to choose the correct file for your CUDA version. And keep in mind that we're gonna be using this on a 3.10 version of Python. So in my case, since I have the CUDA 12.8 with Python 3.10, I'm gonna have to download this file right here. So I'm just gonna click on it. Then next, you're gonna go on this page and download the python 3.10.11 include libs.zip file. So once you have downloaded those two files, you're gonna select them both, control X to cut them, then you're gonna go inside system, python, and then paste the files right here. So from here, in this folder, you're gonna click on the folder path, type cmd, press enter, which will bring the command prompt window. And here we're gonna install Triton for Windows with this command. Then here we're gonna install Sage Attention 2 using the name of the file that we just downloaded in the previous step and once this is done then here we need to extract the zip file that we downloaded previously so click extract here and once this is done you can go back relaunch of that .bat file and then run the run .bat file once again which should open automatically the web ui in your browser window ready to be used. Okay, so now we can have some fun. Now what makes Frampack so special? Well, Frampack is basically a web UI that uses the Honyon image to video model to do the generation that has been extremely well optimized to not only run on low VRAM GPUs, because you only need 6 GB of VRAM to run this, but also what's really cool is that you can generate up to 2 minutes of video without increasing the VRAM usage, which is really just insane. And of course, as you can see right here, the web UI is extremely easy to understand and extremely easy to use. Basically, right here, you're going to click to upload your image. So if I upload this classic image like this, for example, that I often use for these image to video tests, then here you're going to write your prompt, something very short, very sweet, very easy, something like a woman in a forest looking at the camera, smiling. Then here you have a bunch of parameters. Here you have this very, very cool option called Tcache that will basically increase the generation speed, but also make the 
hands and finger a little bit worse, so it's kind of like a trade-off. So if you really want like the best quality possible, you should probably just uncheck this option. But for this example, I'm just going to leave it on. It doesn't really matter. Here you're going to input the seed. Here you're going to choose the total video length. Right now it is by default for 5 seconds, but you can of course go up to like 120 seconds, which is basically 2 minutes of videos. Now obviously it's going to take some time to generate, but it is possible. All of that from a single image, which is really, really cool. But for now, I'm just going to choose 5 seconds. Here you have the steps. That is still CUG scale that is apparently not recommended to change. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Here you have the GPU inference preserve memory, which is apparently some sort of safety buffer for the VRAM. So if you are getting out of memory error, you should probably just increase that value. But it will, of course, means that it's going to generate slower. But in general, you should probably not change this. You should probably just leave it by default. And then here, finally, you have the MP4 compression, which is actually a very new parameter that was added today. So basically, the lower the value, the better the quality, and the higher, the more compressed it is. But I'm just gonna leave it by default, I don't really care. And once this is done, you can simply click Start Generation. And it will begin the generation automatically. Now, what's really cool with Frame Pack is that you can actually see like the full generation as it happens, but the way it actually works is that it actually starts with the end frame and kind of goes backwards. So what you see right here is kind of like the end of the video instead of the beginning. Now, frame pack is definitely not the fastest uh, video generation model or video generation web UI, and definitely not with the most amount of options. You probably have to wait for the next video for that, wink wink. But it is extremely easy to use, and it uses a very low amount of VRAM for the type of quality that it delivers. And in the end, you get something like this. So yeah, I mean, pretty cool. And this was generated in only a few minutes using a very, very small amount of VRAM. Now, technically, Frame Pack always uses the most amount of VRAM that is available, so you don't really have to tell him to use more VRAM. It will just do it automatically. It's just that the less amount of VRAM that you have, the longer you have to wait for the generation to finish. But I mean, as you can see right here, the quality is actually really, really good. And you can of course generate longer videos with more movement or of any image ratio that you want. So really, like there is really no limit. And uh, talking about no limit, yes, you can generate uh, anything that you want. I've tested them and it works really, really well. And yeah, I mean, Frame Pack is really, really cool. It can generate videos with a lot of movement in it from a single image or keep the initial image, it just introduced a little bit of movement while still keeping the integrity of the original image. So very, very impressive. It can also generate movement in things that are not present in the original image. Something like this, for example. And generate like two minutes long videos from a single image using only like six gigabytes of VRAM. I mean, yeah, I mean, frame pack is really, really impressive. You don't need a super long prompt to generate some cool looking videos. You don't need to know anything about AI to be able to install and use it on your local computer. And all of that using only six gigabytes of VRAM. I mean, this is really, really impressive. But don't worry, even if you don't have a powerful GPU or if you don't have a GPU at all, you can still use a frame pack by renting a GPU for a few cents an hour on a website like RunPod and run it as if this was running on your local computer. So if you don't have a RunPod account, you can first click in the description down below and create an account. Then you're gonna click on Pods, then click Deploy a Pod. Here you're gonna choose a GPU with at least 24 gigabytes of VRAM so something like a 1490, for example. Then here, you're gonna click on Change Template and choose the RunPod PyTorch 2.1. Then from here, you're gonna click Edit Template. And here, you're gonna change from both the container disk and the volume disk from 20 gigabytes to 80 gigabytes for both. Then click Set Overrides, scroll down, and then click Deploy On Demand. Then you're gonna wait until the pod is initialized. And once this is done, you're gonna click on Connect and then click on this little button right here. And once you are inside, if you are one of my Patreon supporters, this step will be very, very easy for you because I prepared an easy one-click installer for you to use. Just take the installer and drag and drop it 
right here. Then you're gonna click on this little icon terminal right here. And then you're gonna copy and paste these two command lines that you will find in the Patreon post. And then just press enter. And this will automatically download frame pack inside RunPod. You don't need to do anything. And once everything is done, you should now see here a public URL that if you click on it, will open the web UI ready to be used as if this was running on your local computer. Simple as that. You really don't need to do anything. Oh, and also don't forget that I provide priority support for my Patreon supporters. So if you have any question whatsoever, do not hesitate to send me a DM and I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. And yeah, I mean, there you go. This has been Frame Pack. Now, as I said, there isn't a lot of extremely incredible features about this new model. You probably have to wait for the next video for that. But as I said, this web UI is very easy to use, very powerful, allowing you to generate long video of up to two minutes with pretty high quality and all of that using only six gigabytes of VRAM. So yeah, I mean, this is really, really cool. So once again, as I said in the beginning of the video, we recently got a lot of cool new things that just came out. So you can expect a lot of very cool videos in the upcoming days or the upcoming weeks. So yeah, that being said, definitely try to start yourself and have some fun. And there we have it, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the reason why I'm able to make these videos. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.